Can we get a word to do our hair? Red herring. What? Red herring. Red herring. Thank you. Red herring. Uh, Blue trout. <laughs> Three fish, four fish. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Off-brand yeah. yeah. Off Dr. Seuss. Off-brand children's story. <laughs> Some of the places you'll read about. <laughs> uh, the cat. <laughs> yeah, the thing, thing for t-shirts. <laughs> hop, hop on step, pop. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Big exercise. My <laughs> Asian culture. Things <laughs> <laughs> that sound racist but are like not. <laughs> Red herring. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Uh, high art. Uh, <laughs> high art. Yeah, high art. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's like elementary, bro. Watson, hand me my magazine. We gotta solve the mystery of uh, where we're gonna get fish tickets from. <laughs> Just talking about. <laughs> uh, slipping the mind. Slip and slide. Summertime. Uh, fly fishing. Red herring. <laughs> Asian culture, that's what you were talking about. Whereas <laughs> <laughs> if I was, I would have said lift laugh, wouldn't I? <laughs> Why is this guy such a prick? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I just don't feel like your, your manuscript is uh, for our audience. You know, our, our audience is like pretty literate children. 
Oh, a lot of kind of rip-offs of famous children's authors. Wow, that is insulting. I worked very hard on all of those stories. Charlie and the Coal Factory. <laughs> See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's a play on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, that story, I don't remember ever having read that story before. I don't remember, uh, you know, that's an original story. It's a child who uh, wins an opportunity to go into a coal factory. <laughs> Maybe you can help me out here. I didn't get what the lesson was. Yeah. In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it was, right. he was, he was becoming a, <coughs> becoming a young man. Mm -hmm. he was learning about himself. Right, right. And in this story, he goes into the coal factory. <laughs> it collapses <laughs> in the factory. Uh, the and manuscript the, is six pages long. <laughs> well, economy of words. Yeah. <laughs> okay. the, the moral of the story is, that uh, you have to be careful what kind of situations you go into. <laughs> okay, that's a valid lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, but what about uh, all the places you won't go? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, failure is a part of every person's life. You know, failure and just random disappointment out of nowhere. I, just, I feel like kids are looking for a positive lesson, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All the places you will go. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the name of that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like if they want, if that's what kids want, they can read other stories. You know? They can read other more, you know, uh, they can read Dr. Seuss or whomever. You know? <laughs> I don't read many children's authors. What happened to you? Why is there darkness in all these? Son, go into the coal factory. <laughs> Again, Dad? Not until it collapses. <laughs> Swim around her and find out! 
here often? <laughs> yeah, my dad's king. <laughs> He's got a great line on some master bass. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can go fuck yourself. Oh, red in the house. Idiot, you can't be hanging out with those fishes. <laughs> I know, but I have to finish my education. <laughs> I know, but you don't need to be hanging out with the wrong crowd. Well, what crowd should I hang out with? I don't even fucking care anymore. I used to have legs. Hey, a crab! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are taking a look at what's above the sea. <laughs> Can anybody tell me what this thing is? It's a long piece of metal with a bunch of prongs on it. Is that a trident? <laughs> what? Smaller, it's much smaller. Uh, a fork? <laughs> it is a fork. I don't know. You guys are done! <laughs>
pattern established. <laughs> Hey, are you catching anything? Well, I'm just baiting these hooks with a sense of humor and a good time. <laughs> it seemed like all these people's behavior was unusual. <laughs> Gerald! <laughs> 